What's up, man? This is the Ugly Magazine coming from Shreveport, all the way to Atlanta. Coming to focus the Dirty Boys and my nigga Star King. Is when you were unheard, what was, what was the biggest thing that helped you gain exposure? Uh, styling. I was a stylist. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was a stylist first. Uh, I was working with Bebe. That was like one of my biggest clients, DJ Bebe. Okay. Uh, that was, uh, got a lot of eyes on me. Then I just started, I had stopped rapping for a long, like a, like a year and a half. It was just a focus on fashion. And then I started doing that. Then started start rapping again. And, it's been up ever since. Almost a year strong. So we only been doing this a year. So, yeah. How old are you? 25. 25. Yeah. So how was it working with DJ Bebe? Like how, how, did that, how did that even come about? Lit. It was just people around the city. They, I'm known for fashion in my city. So, and like his, the DJs under him, they, 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 work, they wanted to work with me. And one of them uh, set us down and it went from there. We, we internet shot for like almost five hours. It was just, wow. and we went from there, yeah. So, I mean, you said you, you've only been rapping for a year. Um, heavy, yeah, heavy. Taking it actually serious a year strong. Yeah. Right. Um, so if you could describe this last year in one word, what would it be? Up. Up, that's all I can say. <laughs> from, no, from no songs, uh, I dropped my first, like, coming back out song in January of 2016, and it's been up ever since then. I actually got Hood Rich DJ King to uh, host the song. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. What tape was that? It was it was just a song. It's called okay. Pack In, okay. but it's on my uh, mixtape uh, Ugly. Right. Yeah. Um, ugly. So you speak of ugly. So what is the whole ugly movement? I mean, you know, we already movement. got Ugly God. Yeah. So mm. you know that big. That's gonna be a major comparison in, mm. in, in, your, in, your, walk, in your walk to fame. They're gonna compare you to Ugly God. So what what what, what made you spark Ugly? Uh, it's been. I just had it tatted on me almost before we even actually became a group. I had Ugly Boys tatted on me. It, um, so it's almost been like three years I had these tags before I knew any probably ugly guy just was known. But it stands for actually, you gotta love yourself. So it's not, it's an acronym. I don't, I know I ain't ugly. I'm a, I, I think I'm very handsome. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what As it is. As you should, you should yeah. always think how it is. But it's, it's, it's just right, it ain't really just, a, it's not really friends. Like everybody around me is actually family, like cousins and, and stuff like that. People been around my life, whole life really on some shit. Okay. So, it ain't really just, it's two rappers. One of them coming out, come, gonna be. I'm gonna bring them, we gonna bring them out soon. Yeah. But it's just right now we focus on me and trying to get us to the next level. Right. Ugly Boys Club. Don't forget Ugly Boys Club. So explain that. Explain um, like having having a crew now. Like I mean, of course, having a crew. Yeah. I saw a video. I think I saw a video where it was you know you of course and your yeah. crew. Yeah. On some on some rock star shit. Yeah. Trap rock. So yeah. um, so is that the genre that you call your music? No. It's I don't have. I would say. I have a genre of music, but I just, I vibe off the beats. Like the guitar that was playing in, that's what gave me the, the, to go with trap rock for that song. But that's not really the genre of music. It was a, just a fun song and the beat, the beat gave me that, that, uh, that vibe. So I went with it. That's dope. Um, so you play the guitar? No. No. <laughs> but you play, but you, you play, you know, into your video. Yeah, like I play in the video. Yeah. Video. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I mean, so talk about your hometown. Like, how did your hometown influence this whole ugly uh, magazine movement? Uh, it didn't influence us. They don't. Uh, we the oddballs. They okay. like that. That Bar I know y'all probably don't really know about Baton Rouge rap. Like the young, NBA young boy shoot 'em up music. That's what they really go. They look at us as the weird kids. So we influence ourselves. Like we 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 come among each other and have our own events and things and things like that, but I get to perform in my big homie club. He always tell me come through and, and turn up with him whenever I want. But we influenced by some, but it's a, it's a, it's a city I hate. Right. Yeah, a city I hate. They ride coattails and we ain't, I don't really, I ain't really with all that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, switching lanes real quick. Explain the hair. I mean, you just picked that, so like explain, explain <laughs> the style. I mean, I don't know uh, if they're dreads or if they're just it's, ugly. It's free that the, Okay. It's like, man, it was just like, didn't kill no more. Just let it go. <laughs> Is that a style you dredge on your own? Yeah, if you if you can say that. But it's it's a few. It's a it's a heavy style in my state. But mine mine really don't look like too many others. Yeah. 
So you stand out? Yeah. All right, so let, explain this to me. What are some principles that your culture taught you that you apply to your life now? Mm, stay out the way. My city is is dangerous right now. It's like, we not a big city, but it's crazy we're not a big city and we're the top 50 for murders. Hmm. I think we're like number 26 or 27, and we don't even have nowhere near the amount of Atlanta, New Orleans. They got Everybody got more, and we like number 26. Hmm. We stay out the way. I stay out the way because the life we live in is it's dangerous. What's so it's, special about Atlanta? Um, it's, I would say Atlanta, the mecca of music, like hip hop, urban, the culture. Y'all was as people would say the culture, but it's it's Black Hollywood. We've been seeing hearing that since we was little kids. Black Hollywood, Black Hollywood. Hmm. You can come to Atlanta and bump into somebody in the mall that you would never think you would see in your life, and hmm. it'd be it's normal out here. We on we on we just seen two Ferraris going down. I never seen that. And I, we might see it every once in a while you go in Dallas, but not like two back to back they cutting up in, in traffic. Like, right. it's normal. That's the life we, that's what we look, I ain't gonna say we look up to it, but that's, that's, that's a city. We from a city, but y'all would say it's country, like a country town, but it's a city. But it ain't like that. We, we don't see normal shit like that every day. So let me explain. Um, I mean, I know you 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 said you mentioned Dallas. So it's like is Shreveport close to Dallas? Yeah, two hours away. So so it's like it's like is that culture kind of merged when you say Shreveport and nah, Dallas? Not at all. Totally different. Mm. Totally different. Finish the sentence. I started off my day with. I started out my day with a poster. I mean, nah, what would you say? Oh, what would you start? I started off. Oh, let me tell you. No, I'm just saying, like, Gucci said that. You know what Gucci said. I know what Gucci said. No, I'm saying. What would you say if if that was your line? So, you know, it's a famous line. Um, One Gucci man said. I started off my day with some ass and a scale every day. (laughs) Ass and a scale. Wow. Okay. So let me know what what's some one thing most people don't know about Ugly Magazine, or is it just Ugly Magazine or Ugly Magazine? Ugly magazine. magazine, whatever. I don't really like the I say Ugly Magazine because it's the club, the the my group, but magazine people always like when I drop shit on Spirit, like, Oh, you trying to steal from Ugly Guy with the wolf? I actually reached out to him for production, but they ain't get back at me because they would be they would be big. I feel like they would be big. I pay. Yeah, I mean, I, for my no, production. Yeah. no, that's that, that's what it's about. Really. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> You know, it's a business, it's not. Yeah, you know, I, and if he's making production like that you find interesting, yeah. definitely link up with him. Um Okay, so what's your most standout record? Uh Flix. It's a song that got called Flix. Okay. Yeah, it dropped last year, but it's right now, it's like one of the everybody take heed to it. Yeah. Because the the first few lines of it. Let me know, like, what is that feeling when you go to a club? I mean, it may have happened to you, it may yeah. have not. But what is that feeling when you go to a club and you perform? Um, what Explain the feeling you get when your fans are actually mimicking the words. <sighs> crazy. It happened out, it's like crazy, like, to see fan interaction. That's what that, that's what keep me going. It's a lot of times, man, I'll be like, man, fuck this music shit. But then people, man, don't stop, man. You the Knicks out the city, did this and that. And it's just, I love fans. I love everybody who fuck with me. If you fuck with my music, I fuck with you. Right. What, really? what, what the, the, the last artist that came up out of your city, um, I think you said, who was it? NBA uh, Youngboy? No, that's, uh, that's Louisiana. He's the, the, name, the, 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 like the biggest artist in Louisiana. Probably one of the biggest artists in, in Louisiana. Louisiana. Right now? Yeah. So, the gates, so the gates like the, before you came out of your city, that you would probably say that you, uh, that you, that you look up to or you were influenced by? It's not even an artist. DJ Bebe, Hollywood Bebe. Bebe. Yeah, one of the Bebe. biggest DJ. Yeah. Well, I mean, nice. he's an artist in his own right. Yeah, he's an artist in his own, but there's somebody I can call, like, when we chop it up, all like, influence, like, you, like, you. It's people that's, man, Bebe, my influence in the city. <laughs>